So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import bills that are in PDF format directly into QuickBooks Online. So you might have uh, be receiving bills from vendors or suppliers that are in PDF format and they contain a lot of detail. So here's an example of a PDF file. And what I'm going to do in this demonstration is show how you can use Access Online to upload the information from this PDF file directly into a bill in QuickBooks Online, saving you a lot of time with data entry and also improving your accuracy as well. So I'm logged into my Access Online app and I'm going to first start off by creating a new Axe. So we'll give the Axe a name. And then we're going to browse to the PDF file that we're going to upload. So this is a bill that we received from our supplier, which I showed you before. And then I'm going to select the document type. We're going to say it's an invoice and then we'll click save. So what that has happening is that file is being uploaded into Access Online and it's being passed and the fields recognized on it that we're going to need to import the bill. So in step two, we're going to select file upload is the event and we're going to create a bill. Now in, in this step of the process, we're going to map the fields that we have recognized on the bill to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks. So you'll see here we've got an invoice ID. We're going to map in the invoice date, the vendor name against the receiver name. Um, we'll put in a due date for the bill. The next section is the actual line detail. So these are the table, the individual items that we're going to be that have been purchased on the bill. We're going to map those. So the line product code against the item reference, the line description, as well as the quantity and line amount. So those are all the minimum required fields to create a bill within QuickBooks Online. We have other fields that we can map. Um, but we're just going to do those for this particular example. So when we're ready, we can actually just get a summary of those. You can see a preview of the data that was recognized on the PDF bill. So when we're ready, we save the mapping. Now this can be reused for subsequent imports of that PDF bill. So we can then reuse the, the ax and click next. So what will happen now is we're gonna get a preview of the data that's been recognized on that PDF bill. It's going to be imported into QuickBooks. So we can see here it's got five rows of product. We've got a document number for the bill, which groups those together. We've got a vendor name, a due date description, the item or product code, which needs to match what's in QuickBooks, the quantity and the line amount. Now, if you want to change any of that or you can click on edit and actually modify some of these details if you need to before importing. But we're quite happy for that to go through. We can click on import QuickBooks and Access will validate that data to make sure it's in the correct format. And then we'll begin the process of uploading that bill detail into your QuickBooks online company file. So now you'll get a summary to show that the detail on the bill was uploaded and successfully into QuickBooks. We can click on view and it will take us directly to that bill that's been created. So we can review to make sure it's in all in the correct format. So we have, there's the bill number, we have the vendor, the bill date, the due date, and we have all the products that were purchased along with their quantities and the amount. So very simply, that's how you can use Access Online to upload bills that are in a PDF or image format directly into your QuickBooks online company file um, and create that exact transaction as it was on the PDF as well.